reviewed Avengers Infinity War yesterday. I nearly killed the battery again because I was being thorough. I didn't struggle much. I guess some people felt my review was boring or lackluster because I couldn't say much. Infinity War is an event, so there's a lot to talk about. Now, let's talk spoilers. I give a shit ton away. If you haven't seen Infinity War, don't watch this. Like I said in my normal review, traffic was bad, so I missed the first few minutes. I came in just before Thanos killed Loki, which I knew was going to happen. I'm sure a lot of people predicted it. Is Loki really dead? He's a trickster god. Maybe he teleported far away and created an illusion. Now I know Hulk quickly fought Thanos, but he got bitch slapped back to Earth. Bruce tried transforming twice, but Hulk was really stubborn. Seeing Bruce wear the Hulk Buster was a nice surprise. If it's depowered, I think Bruce was inexperienced. Spider-Man is truly a nerd. He referenced Empire Strikes Back in Civil War, and he referenced aliens here. I'm not an alien fan, but I love aliens. I've seen it twice. Spider-Man and Star-Lord quickly talked about Footloose, but the joke was they believed only one version exists. I haven't seen Footloose yet, either version. When the trailer came out, everyone wanted where Hawkeye was. He never appeared in the market, and I thought he would show up during the climax, but he never appeared in the movie. Black Widow quickly talks about Hawkeye. He and Ant-Man are on probation. I read, Hawkeye is an Ant-Man and the Wasp. I guess he has a fight scene. I might as well let you guys know, when Infinity War came out, I seen a fake spoiler on Facebook. Hawkeye kills Thanos, WTF. Seeing Red Skull again was a nice surprise. He's guarding the Soul Stone. I didn't think he died, but I wasn't expecting him here. Hugo Weaving is no longer playing him. He didn't enjoy playing him, not that I blame him. I guess he doesn't enjoy blockbusters, it doesn't matter. I didn't bother looking up his replacement. Hopefully Red Skull will appear in Avengers 4. I probably shouldn't say this, but Crossbones will appear in Avengers 4. Is that right? I'm sure lots of people were shocked Thanos killed Gamora. I knew he was going to kill her, but I thought he would kill her in combat. Who would have thought the Soul Stone requires a sacrifice? Thanos was sad. He didn't want to kill Gamora. He felt balance in the universe is more important than any of his adoptive daughters. If he had to kill Nebula, it wouldn't work for him because he didn't give a shit about her. After all, he tortured her earlier in the movie. Josh Brolin definitely sold that scene. Star Wars' plan to take out Thanos was cool. In fact, it nearly succeeded. It's too bad his temper got the best of him. Thanos said something about Gamora. Star Wars got mad. He d demanded to know where Gamora was, so he assaulted Thanos, allowing him to escape. Chris Duckman felt Star Wars was acting out of character. If you've seen the Guardians movies, you know Star Wars has a temper, mainly when Eagle told Star Wars he killed his mother. The ending was shocking. I was speechless. I know obviously lots of people were speechless. Thanos actually wins the war. He kills Vision, steals the Time Stone, and wipes out trillions of people. He actually wipes out most of the Avengers. Spider-Man is one of my favorite superheroes, but I wasn't sad when he died, because the ending was a little rushed. Who knows why the original Avengers are still alive. The end credits was different. It's a black and white scroll, kind of like a Christopher Nolan movie, symbolizing death. Infinity War has only one post credit scene. Nick Fury and Maria Hill are driving in New York. Everyone's terrified, everyone's fading away. Nick and Maria fade away too, but Nick quickly grabs a high-tech device and signals Captain Marvel. He tries to say motherfucker, but he fades away, which reminds me of Con Skull Island, but whatever. Captain Marvel is filming now, it takes place in 1994. Sam Jackson is playing Nick Fury, he has both eyes. Avengers 4 comes out next year. The title won't be revealed for a while. Apparently it's a time travel story. The Avengers travel back in time to the first battle of New York, but Ant-Man's there. Steve is clean shaven again, and Tony has blonde hair. I know the time stone is powerful, but it shouldn't be that powerful unless they found another time traveling method. We know obviously Spider Man and Black Panther will be revived since they have sequels planned. Maybe they did, didn't time travel. They're using that weird simulation machine Tony unveiled in Civil War. Hawkeye is definitely in Avengers 4, maybe not for long. I think Clint will snap after he loses his family, so he'll become Ronan. He'll trade in his bow and arrows for a samurai sword or two. I'm not a huge comic book guy. 
I only know about Ronan because I read Movie Web's article on him. You know, Jeremy Renner shared a photo of his weird haircut on Instagram. Not that I have an Instagram account, but whatever. If Hawkeye becomes Ronan, it confirms Avengers 4 takes place in Japan, which I think is different. So yeah, Infinity War was cool. It's honestly sensory overload. I may see it again next weekend. I'm sorry my review is lacking. You know, I'm not chatty. Plus, I wrote only one page of notes. I finally finished my notebook. I got a new one yesterday. Thanks, as always, for watching, guys. My Twitter link is down below. Give me your thoughts on Infinity War down below. I'll talk to you later. Alrighty then. Yeah.